Hello everyone, DP Scorpion here, and we are back with our Total War Danes campaign. Last time, you know, in the first episode, we lost our capital, but we did manage to take it back there at the end of the thing, so that's good. Now let's try and teach, you know, these filthy, I believe it was the Geet, yeah, Gets, I, I, I'm going to mispronounce names all the time. Feel free to correct me. I'm sure it's not going to help much, but feel free. But yeah, we're going to teach them a lesson now. We killed their faction leader, and we are going to take that. I didn't want to. I wanted to be friends with the other Vikings, but they're forcing my hand. Uh, army ability. Uh, all strength. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, we'll go with two into all strength. That That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. So our Navy did take a beating there, but our actual army actually did really well. So yeah, uh, I think we're ready to intern. Oh wait, no. Uh... Two, army recruitment. Delicious influence. Uh, research. Construction. Yeah, construction and growth is nice. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this one soon because we do have the enemies over here. And now we're having to go up north. So, yeah, I'm sure that's going to turn out well for us. What? <laughs> Again, um. Uh, like, if I have any news or anything, I'll share that at the end. We're just jumping into the actual gameplay. And yeah, hopefully this time we won't, you know, lose our... Ah, oh, come on! Just let me deal with one enemy. What's this? Food shortage, yeah. Okay, so I have that coming from there, this I at least have it fixed, it takes all my money but I can fix that, mm-hmm, yeah they'll reach it this turn, uh, what type of garrison does it have, I know there's a way to check, there it is, oh, mmm, yeah, so we're going to lose that. Dang it. Okay. We can't fight at two places at once. That much is obvious. Can't quite reach them. That's unfortunate. Okay. So I just spent money repairing this stuff. The garrison is non-existent. So if we leave, these guys will attack and destroy us. I think we just have to... S yeah. We need to take out this army. Oh, come on! That let him go so far. There we go. So, I mean, that's one enemy, but that still puts us in a horrible predicament. Uh, money gained, 139. It's not worth the integrity. Unit replenishment. I do like that. Uh, yeah, we'll go with replenishment. Yeah, we got some more of this. Cavalry. We don't have much of that. Movement speed. I think this is our actual army, isn't it? Naval battle movement speed, commanded force. 
Okay, that's actually not the worst, though, because I do plan on doing a lot of, you know, sea attacks with him. So, yeah, that actually works out. Um, integrity. Uh, ambush success chance isn't bad. Uh, growth, that is nice. Upkeep, land units, that, that, yeah, that's really nice. Campaign movement range. We'll go ahead and go. You know what? We'll go with one in both. There we go. Uh, I go to stands march. Does that get me anything? I mean, almost. Yeah. So Rugian, yeah, that's unfortunate. Jutes, okay. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue to the dogs. <laughs> no, I don't feed my tongue to the dogs. That that would be bad. Ah. Any chance you guys would? I'm sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please don't bother. Talk of meat, not. Hey, I, I will give you my daughter. Yeah, no one still wants her. It would be nice if someone, anyone, would be like, Oh, what's that? My daughter, sure. Uh, yeah, no. Nothing we can do. That's unfortunate. So, yep, we're going to lose Rugian. Uh, can we move the dude we just placed there? Yeah, we just placed a governor there. Uh, governors. Move character from office. Okay. So, we removed him from office solely because no reason in losing him. They shouldn't be able to reach our capital, so yeah. We'll lose Rugian, that's fine. I think this is just the best way does mean we can't get up there to attack them uh, you have the ear of my people do not waste words we are worthy of better so they won't do that obviously non-aggression pact range of marriage <laughs> no giving them my daughter actually you know destroys it ah, that trade agreement would be so useful though uh, yeah, let's let's just go with that. Okay. So, I mean, we at least have that. We got one enemy off our backs for now. Um, that's kind of all we can ask for. Uh, yeah, no, we can't at the moment. We don't have money for anything. So, yeah, unfortunately, we're about to lose Rujian. But now we should be able to focus on that enemy. Yep, here it comes. Okay, they do have seasickness. He's not bringing his uh, fleet over. What type of train do we have here? I remember right, this is the one with the big hill here. Yeah, so they'd have to take the hill. Our guys are highly injured. Oh, they have a onager. Huh. Okay, that's not good for us. We could probably take out the Onager with this. Okay, so we are definitely going to lose this battle. Uh, but we're going to actually go and play. Okay. So my idea here is I know we're going to lose, but... Like, maybe we can actually deal them some damage? These guys, unfortunately, yeah, don't have much ammunition or anything. Yeah, four, one, yeah, they, they don't have much of anything, which is unfortunate, but, I mean, it is what it is. All the ships are from that side over there. Uh, that's, okay, where's the Onager? Where are 
are you? Aw, oh, did the Onager get to come on land too? Yes, it did. Okay, that... That hurts a lot of what we were wanting to do there. Not gonna lie. Okay, anyways, we'll go ahead and start battle. Yeah, there's not really much for us. You know what? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna send these guys out, see if maybe we can get to that Onager. That <laughs> my own barricade blocking us. Yeah, that figures. So, I think that's just my hope, is we can deal a little bit of damage. Like, just the tiniest bit ever. Okay, so they're gonna take that watchtower. Uh, I know what I want to do. But... Oh, uh, I need to be paying attention to my ship over here. Okay, yeah, you attack. Uh, okay, so yeah, I mean, like, that's slingers, that's bowmen. Any of these, we should be able to, you know, easily get. Nope. Ah, we didn't get the shot off in time. So yeah, these guys are going to die, and they're going to die very quickly. Yeah, that's my bad. We're just going to go and fast forward. Okay, come on, ship. Move a little faster, please. Catch them before they get on land. Come on. Please. Just get someone before they get on land. Really, every single one of their ships was able to dock there. Oh, that is bull crap, and you know it, game. We were right there, we had them. That is utter crap. It knows it just like we do. Oh, did we get both the horses? Yeah, we did. Okay, so, um, that's one thing that went in our favor. Now, with them coming, we won't be able to get out. Nothing remains of that tower now. Oh, I, I love how long it took our guy to get off his ship. You know, the actual neighbor unit is going to take 20 years to get off the ship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just... Yeah, he's going to die before he even reaches him, I'm sure. It's an ambush! Yeah, there's a lot of guys there. We're getting shot now. Yeah, we're not, we're gonna do no damage to these guys. I fully understand that. That being said, we can get some close-ups. Woohoo! Stabby, stabby. <laughs> yep, more men are broken. 11 kills. At this point, I think more deaths are actually coming from his troops than from ours. Morale, 8. Oh, yeah, that's... He's about to break. I'm actually surprised he's held on this long. It's impressive. He's trying his best for us. So yeah, it's unfortunate we wasn't able to do more damage. Some of that's my fault. I will admit that. That battle won by how we expected. It, it might have went a little worse than expected, but once again, that's fine. Okay, the... Bloodless ram. A ram hung in sacred offering to the gods is completely bloodless. <laughs> Not a single drop can be squeezed from the creature. We must do something to appease the gods. Sacrifice more rams. 
human sacrifice. Burn the ram. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with burn the ram because that is quite unnatural. It was between that and pretty much, you know, human sacrifice. So we're going to let my units try to get a little bit of replenishment. I won't be able to do much, but like another turn of replenishment because it's not like I could reach Ruji in anyways this turn. So yeah. That being said, that was our food and money location. So yeah, we are in bad straits now on both of those. Hey, now that we're better friends, you want that trade agreement? No. Okay. Jude. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not well. I'll give you my daughter. Yeah. That is never gonna work. I don't think we're ever gonna get rid of her. Their daughter, on the other hand, wouldn't be bad to get. If we can manage it somehow. We can offer you $47. <laughs> yeah. Shocker, that didn't work out. Nope, don't have the money for it. So taking out his army down here is what we need to do. If we can do that, take Rujin, go take his capital before we have another enemy. We should, I think, be in pretty good straight. Oh, look, another. That's nice. I don't think we really needed that extra one. Oh, uh, sorry, illegitimate son. That's, uh, okay. As you say. Okay, so let's see what he has. He has this, that the only thing hurt is his horses. He has that, which is pretty much nothing. That's probably the garrison. That thing behind us, which is nothing. Okay, so, I mean, he has quite a bit. So do we. Um, you know, we're going to fight this on the battlefield. Okay, yeah, we want to dry because we have some range in our army, too. So yeah, if we can take this, that'll actually put us in a pretty good position. The radar map allows an aerial. At last, land There's his ship, it looks like. If he wants to come over here to us, that's fine. Otherwise, we're waiting for all our troops to come in. I learned my lesson last time. That being said... Let's go ahead and get our cavalry up to these trees, hide them there. Yeah, the that should be good. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to want to have a decent amount attack from this front, and then we'll have some attack from this. Okay, is that everyone in now? Yeah, heavily outnumbered. Have them do that. By warriors and ready. Who's ready? Go ahead and take out that ship. Ready and uh, just a giant cluster there. Yeah, let's go ahead and speed up some. No, no, no. Are you guys have fire will. Yeah, get off that. Replenish ammo, yes. Yeah, you guys go ahead and come back. So, what I'm going to actually do with the fleet is I'm going to have them come here. And then once they start moving things around because of, you know, all the stuff we have here, then I'll have them go dock up and attack. Let's go and get them in position, though. I think this is definitely the best way we can go about it. 
Okay, so we have all our little troops. Okay, beautiful. Go ahead and go back to normal speed for a moment, because... Oh, they're coming out to attack us, it looks like. Um... Okay, so... Yeah, no, um... Let's go ahead and get our troops in there, then. Blue spacing, just in case they start trying to shoot me. Counter charge. Come on, it was two on one. We really need to win that because I would we really need our cavalry to actually do something for once. Like we desperately need our cavalry to actually be able to accomplish something. Yes, okay, our cavalry actually won that battle. No 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 uh halt. That's not cancels orders yeah make selected units or ships stop where they are this is a quicker alternative to giving them a different order Mounted warriors! All right. our men have given up and are running for their lives okay so we have men already like just giving up that's not good The only thing I can think of is the amount of range they have. Okay, this is going very bad for us at the moment. Like, yeah, no, this is going horrible for us. Ready and eager. Warriors ready. Run! The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. Yeah, I can't believe how bad this is going for us, actually. Well, I don't think we're going to have a money issue after this. Okay, so yeah, this campaign might already be over, guys. I might have screwed up. A dark day. Our general has died at enemy hands. The withdraw button causes a unit or ship to leave the battle by traveling towards the edge of the field by the shortest route. Yeah, we're just going to go and withdraw. Back at any stage before it leaves by issuing a move or attack order. Just go, guys. A unit is running from the enemy. Withdraw, withdraw, everyone just withdraw, we're taking the loss. Our men have regrouped. Okay, stop regrouping, if I'm telling you to withdraw, stop re regrouping, okay? Okay, decisive defeat, yeah, we really misplayed that. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> For the tribe, ready for orders. Your orders. Pull, pull until your backs break. Yes. So yeah, we're no, we're in a horrible position right now. Okay. 
it. <laughs> For the tribe. Afford much? What can I afford? They're not good, but you know, that's what I can afford at the moment. There we go. Yeah, cause he's in really good shape still. Warriors old. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure there. <laughs> oh. Okay, so as time goes on, we will get better with our, you know, Viking assault. <laughs> He's coming out to attack us. Okay, so all of these guys have seasickness. This is his naval force, but they shouldn't be in to begin with. So we might... Well, it's not like we can retreat anyways, so... Yeah, fight the battle on the battlefield. Maybe we can, you know, take out something before his better stuff gets there. During the deployment phase, you can secretly arrange your units inside the deployment zone before battle commences. When you're ready to fight, click on the scroll button. The balance of power bar tracks the relative strength of your force against that of your enemy. Sharp. More enemy ships spotted. We are outnumbered. I want that onager down. So let's go and take that out. Let's take that out. There we go. Come on. Reach the stuff. Reach the ships I'm telling you to. One of our ships is out of ammunition. Uh, could you attack the ship I'm telling you to? Please? Okay, so we got the Onager now. Beautiful. So the Onager should be like a no issue for us. We should be able to take it out no problems. The enemy is going for our general. Protect him. Yeah. Nah, we're gonna take down this Onager at least. So the bigger issue is like all the range he has shooting us now. Oh, there's the enemy's general. Yeah. Let's try to get some flaming shots in on there. So yeah, I mean, we took out, or taken out some ships, but <laughs> this was always going to be a loss. It's just how big of a loss it turns out to be. Uh, are you guys out of ammo? Is that what happened here? Crap, they are. These guys, I mean... They're getting kills, so at least there's that. One of our ships is being boarded. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's a shame. I mean we knew it was gonna happen, but the gods want blood. if we can help this guy take out this ship, I mean there's still a couple of things we can do. And this dude, I mean, he got quite a few kills, so the there's that. <laughs> Decisive defeat. Yeah, what did you expect? Hey, 437 losses to 165 to win. We did a lot of damage, like the Arnager, took out a couple of units. Okay, so not too bad. I mean, we took out two, three, four units, heavily hurt the Onager. That's pretty good. 
So all things considered, yeah, that's not bad, and they shouldn't be able to reach my city now. Or not. Okay. No, they were able to just... Okay, I don't necessarily agree with that. Seems like there should have been some type of penalty for them, you know, selling out that way first. So they do have seasickness... So that should help us some. Uh, yeah, no. We have to fight this. So this... Okay. Yeah, this one's not the best. Uh... Those guys aren't that great. Let's put him there. Okay, I think this is the worst unit. Which one has the high speed? Okay, so he has 38. This little guy has 40. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually send this guy here out to attack the Onager as quick as possible. That way we don't have to worry about it. Um, we're going to have that there. We'll go ahead and put a barricade there. it where would be best to position our forces this is hard yeah okay, actually gonna go with yeah we're actually gonna go with this I know what you're thinking it seems like the center here would be a pretty good place but not really. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That guy I definitely want. There. Uh, and the ship. We have a horrible ship. It's not going to be able to do much. But it might be able to take out, you know, one or two of those. The battle timer shows how much time is left before the battle ends. The attacker must rout or destroy the defender within the time okay, limit there we go. draw the battle. The enemy is reinforced. Okay, so we should be able to take out the Onager. Who's already broken? Oh, the naval fleet must be. Okay. Come on, take out the Onager. Come on, we should be able to beat them. Okay, yes. There we go. We beat them. Now get back. Shooting them, shooting them. Light skirmishers. Can't attack them yet. On, on. Spears ready. Get running. What are you doing? Yeah, see, the biggest problem is all that. We should be able to, you know, handily defeat a couple of these guys, but... We will pierce their hearts. You have our spirits. Attack! Missiles ready! Missile warrior! You know. They've thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! And I clearly messed up having these two units up here. 
More mess ups for me. Not that surprising. Oh, these guys managed to get through. That's not good. Okay, so. At the moment, this is looking kind of bad for us at the moment, not gonna lie. to just have those bow guys right there yeah that's hurting a lot the fact that they just have their bowmen on the ships shooting at us that's that's hurting an awful lot at the moment Yeah, this is going very poorly for us at the moment. They still have all of that. The enemy, nothing remains of that tower now. And nope, this is where we lose. We just straight up lose. No. Nope. Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit. <laughs> we're damaging them so I guess there's that I still can't believe they were able to reach us despite the whole going out to attack the thing the men are losing faith. yeah no I mean we're being shot from all directions there's no yeah, there's not much I can do Uh, I mean, we did a lot of damage to, I mean, we even did a lot of damage to that second army. It was just too much. So, yeah, like I said, so wrap up. Uh, <laughs> so Friday, we will be trying again. Uh, I don't know if I'll do the Danes again. I really want to. Ooh. Maybe see if we learn from a mistake, so we might do Danes again, but we will be starting a new campaign on Friday. And this is the reason to watch this channel, because unlike everyone else, there is very much a realistic possibility that we lose, and we lose horribly because of my poor decisions. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope to see you Friday. Leave comments down in the comment section like it uh, subscribe and uh yeah okay yeah nope uh you guys have a good one dp scorpion stay true to your nature and see you next time